Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM. And today we're going to take a look at the first match of the season 2024-2025. Um, in the meantime, um, uh, what I mean is, from the last episode, um, I've finished the transfers. Because uh, if you remember from the last episode, if you watched it, I took you through how I conduct the transfers. So, let's go back to that screen. And... Most of the transfers that you saw me um, like making bids for, uh, they did come through. Uh, not all of them, though. So, we've done a total of... I don't know how many transfers that is, but it's £12,000. Um, so not that much, although it is more than any other previous season. Uh, and we didn't really do any... Um, business out because most of our players were um, not in a contract anyway. So, going back to the squad. We have one new goalkeeper, Joe Young. He's come on a free transfer, I believe. Yep, from Wolves. Uh, previously playing at Dartford in the league below. So he's going to be probably our main goalkeeper. In the right side of the fence we have one new player. Ethan Vaughan, uh, the Welsh player. Originally from Cardiff, um, and then at Solihull after that. In the left side of the fence, we also have one new player, Kian Best. And he's on loan with us from Preston. If you, You're going to notice a trend of young players here. Um, in the fence, we have one, uh, two, two new players. We've got Reggie Evans on a free transfer from Southampton. And we also have... Patrick Staszewski, and he is with us on a loan from Cambridge. Then, in the defensive midfield position, we managed to secure Craig Smith. Now, Craig Smith was with us before uh, on a uh, previous season, and he's just joined again. So, not really a major improvement there. Two new midfielders. We've got Kian Brecken, and he's our best player, I think. Uh, he played for Man City before, and then he went out to Belgium on a couple of loans uh, in the meantime. But he's probably going to be our best player. The other player in that position for us is Callum Stringer. Callum with, was with us before on a loan, but he's now is now with us permanently. Um, in that position. On the right side of attack, we have Neil Rushton on loan from Altrincham. All I never know how to pronounce that that team. The left side, we have no changes. We still have uh, Longbottom and Danny Smith. Uh, sorry, Danny Lloyd. To, to be fair, that Danny Lloyd joined us at the end of last season, so that was pretty much up to date anyway. Now, in attack, we have Two new players, but actually it's four. I'll explain why in a minute. So back with us on loan again is Patrick Casey. So he was with us last season, and then uh, we managed to loan him back again for this season. Uh, now new, new to us, completely new to us, is Morgan Wigley, and he's from Cardiff City. So he's with us for um, a loan period. Now I also got two others. Uh, Kobe Moore, who for now I've stuck in the under 21s as a backup. And where is he? From Royston, previously Aston Villa. And in the under, under 18s, we have Sony Pickup, whom you saw me picking up actually in the last episode, uh, from Burnley on loan. Um, that's because our strikers are slightly on demand at the moment. So we've got Yun uh, Pollock currently trying to be poached by a different team. And Hamzan Kar Karkbo, who was our star player last season, he's also being wanted by different teams. Now, they all have pretty similar characteristics, all those four players. So I'm keep intending to keep Patrick and Morgan as our main strikers. But if these two guys get poached, we have the youngsters on reserve. Uh, so we don't have to panic and get strikers at the last minute. So we have those. Actually, 
actually the real reason I got four strikers is because I found um, the guy, so Kobe and Sony. I found them first. And then once we improved our squad with other players, these two guys became available. They were like, ah, your squad is better than it used to be. Uh, we'll come and join you. So yeah, so in, in that case, I didn't want to have four new strikers in the team all at once. So that was kind of the compromise I came up with. Obviously, Sony is going to try and help out the under uh, 18s. Uh, I'm hoping he's picking up lots and lots of matches. Now we're going to pop into the fourth match of the season. Uh, so far we have all draws, if we look at our schedule, we drew two uh, all against Knott, nil nil and nil nil, nil again against uh, Feld and Yeovil. So we're going to play Arrogate at the m moment in 24th. The season preview puts us uh, near the bottom of the league. Last season we came 14th, so this season I'm trying to make do better essentially. Um, I'd love to be in the playoffs, but I'm not sure if that's going to be possible or not. The squad is very young. We have lots and lots of new players. and Sorry, young players, I mean, um, down here in the sort of 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 category. So all, all of these players are like considered to be under 23. So that's a lot of our squad. We only have three players over 30. Um, so that's... That's pretty good. And none of them are goalkeepers. Both our goalkeepers are young. So let's jump into a match. And let's see what happens there. I've gone and perfected our staff as much as I can. So we have the best coaches we can get hold of, the best performance analysts, scouts, physios, etc. There's only a couple of things I need to tweak there to do with um, um, well, essentially team talks, like speaking to the to the squad, interviews, etc. Need to make sure that all of that is still up to date. All right, I'm going to give you the full screen view now. There we go. And it's 1-0 for Harrogate. Now the aim for this season is to... Well, as far as I'm concerned, is to essentially try and get to the playoffs. As far as the board is, is concerned, we're going to try and avoid relegation. And, um, yeah, but at least do better than last year. And better than last year would be anything from 13th upwards. But we are 2 nil down here. Which is slightly surprising. Let's change when it goes back to a non-highlight. I'm going to change it back to the league view rather than the formation view, just to see what the league looks like. They're basically hammering us with shooting at goal. Okay, let's change this to league table. Where's Harrogate? Oh, they're low down. Don't understand why the hammering is so bad. Obviously, our squad is still trying to gel in. There's a lot of new players in that squad. Three nil. That is terrible. For a team that's low down in the league. I suppose we are two at the moment, but I 
thought we'd do better than that. I mean, we haven't had any trouble with the teams so far. <coughs> okay, we've got one back. Dave Stevens, first goal of the season. Now sent us back. Very good, well done. Now I'm going to have to make some changes here because um, it is not working. Okay, I'm going to go with Vaughn. Lloyd and we know him. <sighs> and we're back down there again. Let me just switch these guys around. I'm not sure if that makes any difference with... I, I suppose I could check. Uh, so if I check... No preference... No preference. Yeah, okay. But this guy's... Morgan is not performing well, so maybe that will help him a little bit. Somehow. This Brecken is breaking through and got blocked. I think he was doing slightly better on the other side, so let's do that. Here we go. Pretty good pass there. And a good goal. I mean, he wasn't the keeper, but the keeper couldn't do anything about it. So there we are. Could this be a goalkeeper issue? I mean, we'd still have our goalkeeper from last season um, in the squad, so that's okay. We can just put him back on and hopefully that'll be better. Well done for not conceding a penalty. Change them back again. I know there's a highlight occurring, but um, I'll just put cargo bet on the right, on the left side. He seemed to. That's how he got the assist, so maybe he can do something there. He's a giant compared to everyone else. If you watch him on a pitch, There he is, he's a giant. Right, so we're going to have some questions asked of these players. Didn't go quite so well, we might have to do some tweaks. This is only their fourth match together and you know I've made sure to rotate everyone so everyone's had a go now at playing uh, for the you know as a starter 
Anyway, I will catch up with you again in sort of the midpoint of the season just to see how it's going then, if we're still struggling or if we are making some progress towards our goal of doing better than last year. Uh, thanks so much for watching until the end. I hope you've enjoyed it and don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also check out the Patreon and you can get your name on a new gen as well if that's what you want. Uh, check out the details in Patreon for that. Right, take care. Bye-bye.